Wise Children by Angela Carter, read by Eileen Atkins. Why is London like Budapest? Because it is two cities divided by a river. Morning. Let me introduce myself. My name is Dora Chance. Welcome to the wrong side of the tracks. Put it another way. If you're from the States, think of Manhattan, then think of Brooklyn. Or for a Parisian, it might be a question of Rive Gauche, Rive Droit. With London, it's the North and South Divide. Me and Nora, that's my sister, we've always lived on the left-hand side, the side the tourist rarely sees, the bastard side of old Father Thames. Once upon a time, you could make a crude distinction. Thus, the rich lived amidst pleasant verdure in the north, speedily whisked to exclusive shopping by abundant public transport, while the poor eked out miserable existences in the south in circumstances of urban deprivation, condemned to wait for hours at windswept bus stops, while sounds of marital violence, breaking glass and drunken song echoed around and it was cold and dark and smelled of fish and chips. But you can't trust things to stay the same. There's been a diaspora of the affluent. They jumped into their diesel saabs and dispersed throughout the city. You'd never believe the price of a house round here these days. What would have become of us if Grandma hadn't left us this house? 49 Bard Road, Brixton, London, South West 2. If it wasn't for this house... Nora and I would be on the streets by now, hauling our worldlies up and down in plastic bags, sucking on the bottle for comfort like babes unweaned, bursting into songs of joy when finally admitted to the night shelter and therefore chucked out again immediately for disturbing the peace, to freeze and finally snuff it, disregarded on the street. That's a thought for a girl's 75th birthday. Yes, 75. Happy birthday to me. Born in this house, indeed this very attic, just 75 years ago today. I made my bow five minutes ahead of Nora, who is, at this very moment, downstairs getting breakfast. Happy birthday to us. This is my room. We don't share. We've always respected one another's privacy. Identical, well and good, Siamese, no. Everything's slightly soiled, I'm sorry to say. Can't be doing with wash, 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 polish, polish, polish these days. Take a good look at the signed photos stuck in the dressing table mirror. Ivor, Noel, Fred and Adele, Jack, Ginger, Fred and Ginger, Anna, Jessie, Sunny, Binny, all friends and colleagues once upon a time. See the newest one? A tall girl, slender, black curls, enormous eyes, no drawers. Your very own Tiffany and lots of kisses. Isn't she lovely? Our beloved godchild. We tried to put her off show business, but she wasn't having any. What's good enough for you two is good enough for me. Show business, right enough. A prettier girl than little Tiff you never saw. But she's showed her all. What did we do? Got it in one. We used to be song and dance girls. We can still lift a leg higher than your average dog if called for. Hello, hello. Here comes one of the pussycats out of the wardrobe, stretching and yawning. Dozens more roam freely. The house smells of cat a bit, but more of geriatric chorine. Cold cream, face powder, dress preservers, old fags, stale tea. Come and have a cuddle, pussy. Does pussy want its breakfast then? Give us a minute, puss. Let's have a look out of the window. Cold, bright, windy spring weather, just like the day that we were born, when the zeppelins were falling. I knew a boy once, with eyes that colour, years ago. Bare as a rose, not a hair on him. He was too young for body hair and sky-blue eyes. 
You can see for miles out of this window. You can see right across the river. There's Westminster Abbey, see? St Paul's, the single breast, Big Ben winking its golden eye. Not much else familiar these days. This is about the time that comes in every century when they reach out for all they can grab of dear old London and pull it down. Then they build it up again like London Bridge in the nursery rhyme. Goodbye, hello, but it's never the same. Sometimes I think if I look hard enough, I can see back into the past. There goes the wind again. Crash. Over goes the dustbin. All the trash spills out. Empty cat food cans, cornflakes packets, laddered tights, tea leaves. I am at present working on my memoirs and researching family history. See the word processor, the filing cabinet, the card indexes, all the dirt on everybody. 75 today and a topsy-turvy day of wind and sunshine, the kind of wind that gets into the blood and drives you wild. Wild. I give a little shiver because suddenly I know in my ancient water that something will happen today. Something exciting. Something nice. Something nasty. I don't give a monkeys. Just as long as something happens to remind us we're still in the land of the living. <laughs>